I am back. Rude Jans for our Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys and gals for watching our videos. Uh, we've got a video that is going viral out there involving Anthony Fauci and the radical socialist leftist mayor, Mario Bowser, out there in Washington, D.C. And we will get to said video because it is involving them going door to door to try to convince people to get the vaccination. That's right. The jab. Good God almighty. And uh, just to give you an idea, Fauci and Bowser, for whatever reason, uh, are pretty locked in together. Um, probably due to their uh, leftist socialist roots, but we've got all kinds of things. This was um, this was December 2020, uh, December 23rd, 2020. D.C. Mayor proclaims Thursday Dr. Anthony S. Fauci Day. That's right. And um, also, there was a, and this was in uh, June 11, 2021, D.C. Mayor hosts a fireside chat with Dr. Anthony Fauci about COVID-19. Now, keep in mind, you know, Washington, D.C. is one of those areas that, um, and by the way, they were talking about, uh, let me give you a quote here. Bowser asked Fauci about parents hesitant to get children 12 and up vaccinated because of a history of medical experimentation on African Americans. Quote, there are many, many, many more white people getting vaccinated than there are African Americans. Fauci said as part of his reply. So I don't understand how you could come to a conclusion that getting a vaccine for an African-American is experimenting on them. Quote, so what do we have to say to people who say, I don't want to do it because Donald Trump was involved and I don't trust Donald Trump, Bowser asked. Now think about this. She's hosting a fireside chat. Somehow she figures out a way to uh, throw Donald Trump under the bus and then to run the bus over him. I mean, think about that. Trump truly does live rent-free in these people's heads continuously. Now, let's get to this, because this is what this video is actually about. Uh, this is a Twitter handle, Brick Suit, and um, got 127,000 followers, so he's obviously known by some, an American First Commentary. So shout-out to him. This video has emerged. I'm not sure what it, it's from. Although I believe it may be from some kind of a PBS special. I don't know that for sure. So don't quote me on it. But it's, uh, and he makes a great point about this video. Couldn't have posted this pre Elon Musk owning Twitter. Very likely that is correct. This is Tony Fauci, Anthony, and DC Mayor Mario Bowser getting shut down as they go door to door. Promoting the jab in 2021. And this uh, American citizen, this Washington citizen, uh, absolutely schools Fauci and Bowser on the freaking jab. Let's look at this because it is great. People in America are not settled with the information that's been given to us right now. So I'm not going to be lining up taking a shot. On a vaccine. Look how dismissive she looks. Did you see her face? So I'm not going to be lining up taking a shot on a vaccination for something that wasn't clear in the first place. And then you all create a shot in miraculous time. It takes years to but create vaccine. It creates years, years to create a vaccination. And that's always been fact. Keep that in mind. Well, it, it used to take years. Okay, it used to. It, it you know how you know how many years were invested in this in this approach? About twenty years of science to get us to be able to do it. Twenty years is not enough. And nine months is definitely not no. enough for nobody to be taking no vaccination that you all came up with. The only yeah. reason I'm talking to you right now, well, as close well, as we are, is that I've been vaccinated. Right. But if it allow thousands of people like you don't get vaccinated, you're going to let this virus continue to percolate in this country and in this world. Something like the common flu then, right? And, and oh, snap. 
That's basically. Like, that's it's like much more flu. serious than the flu. Though. Well, the flu kills a lot of people annually, yeah. too. You, you know how many people bad. died of the flu the last year? I mean, not this year, virtually none, but the previous year, about 20 to 30,000. You know how many people have died from COVID-19 in the United States? 600,000 Americans. Well, yeah, but his point is, when the flu first emerged, it killed a shit ton of people. But eventually, the flu got watered down, and now it's down to a much lower number. Same thing with COVID. Uh, you, well, that, well the, the number that you all giving that died, that, that, once again, that's you all's number. You got pass. Yeah, definitely. Because right. when, when you start talking about paying people to get vaccinated, when you start talking about incentivizing things to get people vaccinated, there's something else going on with that. Something yeah, else, something it, else going I, on. It with is that. something going yeah, on. With something that. Else You're right. But I'm glad millions of people, like me and almost everybody here, didn't get an incentive. You know what their incentive was? Protecting their health and protecting the city. Well, but that, I, well, I won't keep you anymore. It's okay. Cause Thank my, you for my, my, my. Oh, we got our ass handed to us. So we we got to bail out because you're making us look like fools. My incentive, y'all, campaign is about fear. It's about inciting fear in people. You all Ooh. attack people with fear. That's what this pandemic is. It's a fear. It's fear, this pandemic. That's all it is. <laughs> okay, so, and look, they, play, they played that like a fiddle, right? In 2020, I mean, the disease came out during election year. Donald Trump's running, blah, blah, blah. And... The Democrats politicized and weaponized the virus. They used it against Trump. They used it against everybody in all these Democratic states to lock them down. And they used fear to do it. This guy just called him out and said, you're using fear to do this. And it's amazing because this was back in 2021. So sometime we know at least... 14, 15, 16, 17 months ago, there were already people that were seeing through some of this bullshit. And it was clear there was a political agenda behind all of it. I mean, this guy shredded them. And it was funny because did you see how smug and elite and dismissive Mario Bowser wanted to be to a guy that was talking very intelligently and very lucid to her, okay? It wasn't like this guy was going off like a raven lunatic. He was very coherently throwing out the other side of the argument. She didn't like that. Did you see her face and it zoomed in on her? You know? I mean, you could tell she thought she was better than that guy. No reason to, by the way. Because it seemed like among the three people, the guy standing on the porch was the one that was intelligent. At least his bullshit detector was absolutely working on firing on all cylinders. I saw this and was like, oh shit, this is great. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters, in the comments section. That guy owned Mario Bowser and Anthony Fauci's asses. Again, coherently. With intelligence, he put it on them. And um, they get very fearful, and they want to start running away when their narrative is not just lapped up like a lot of the Democrat lap dogs have done. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.